Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking time out and joining TerraSolid presentation today. I'm Anna Puttonen, software support engineer at TerraSolid with background in photogrammetry and remote sensing research. I will try to go today through the content in a clear and easy manner so you can learn about our new algorithm implemented specially for users of UAV-based photogrammetric point clouds. If you have any questions, I can answer you right after the presentation or via email. TerraSolid company is founded over 30 years ago in Finland. TerraSolid software processes point clouds no matter the source, no matter the sensor or platform. We are basically neutral. We offer capable tools for all kinds of data. Our tools can solve problems in different application scenarios and with different types of data. But today we are going to focus on data from UVs because nowadays they are promising platforms for capturing spatial information. They are an affordable solution which are easy to bring to the surveying field and they can operate automatically. Usually uh, these devices are equipped with optical sensors to support the navigation of the platform or to transmit observations of the environment to the operator. After data acquisition, the captured images are processed with dense image matching techniques into 3D information in form of color point clouds. From that moment, we overtake photogrammetric point cloud data and process it further on in one of our packages, TerraScan, TerraPhoto, TerraModeler, or TerraMatch. For each of these packages, we have a lighter version marked as UAV. And UAV versions are offered with a lower price comparing to full versions. We cover number of different disciplines and fields since our customers come from 3D city modeling applications, forest inventory, road and street surface analysis, exact land surface design, flood analysis, power lines, railroad maintenance, and so on. All together, we have about uh, 600 useful tools, and today we will focus on uh, tools from TerraScan relevant for improving ground classification of UAV-based photogrammetric point clouds. Our products are used in more than 90 countries, then we can say with a confidence that we are global market leader in airborne and mobile laser point cloud processing, but our software is also used for processing UAV-based photogrammetric or LiDAR point clouds, as well as terrestrial laser scanning data or data from handheld scanners. This is presentation of TerraSolid uh, product family, which consists of six main products. TerraScan, TerraModeler, TerraPhoto, TerraMatch, TerraStereo, and TerraSlave, which can all be combined into unique solutions to serve your particular needs of point cloud processing. And all of them run on top of MicroStation. It's a CAD software from a Bentley company. And recently, all our tools can also run on top of Spatix. It's a new CAD software developed by Russian company GSVare Integro. Few words about our products. Uh, TerraScan is the main application for managing and processing LiDAR point clouds. It offers import and project structuring tools for handling large amount of points of a laser scanning campaign, as well as the corresponding trajectory information. It can easily handle billion of points as all routines are adjusted for optimum performance. Then we have a TerraPhoto, specially developed for processing images captured together with laser data during a survey mission. The software enables the production of rectified images and ortho mosaics based on ground model that has been extracted from the laser data. 
Terraphoto can render texturized vector CAD models and point clouds of high quality images and also videos. TerraModeler is the oldest package. You can create with this package and edit and utilize surface models. TerraModeler creates thin models from various sources, such as LiDAR points stored in binary files or loaded in TerraScan, XYZ uh, ASCII files and graphical design elements. TerraMatch is a sophisticated tool for improving the accuracy and quality of the raw laser point cloud. It compares laser data from overlapping flight or drive paths and calculates correction values for the misalignment angles as well as X, Y, Z location errors. It can also be used to match new point cloud to already matched point clouds, for example, MLS to ILS. Uh, data. TerraStereo is a standalone application for visualizing very large point clouds in uh, stereo display systems like Plura View or um, others which are using VR glasses. It uses high performance graphics boards for rendering huge amounts of points quickly and in high quality. If you're processing huge amounts of laser points, data, and images, uh, that can be quite challenging. With TerraSlave, you can distribute time and resource consuming tasks such as a TerraScan macro execution to several computers over a LAN network. And you can then free your own workstation for other processing steps. TerraSlave comes as standalone application with an easy to use graphical interface for managing tasks. Next slide explains how we are improving ground classification with vegetation index. Photogrammetric point clouds have mainly returns on the immediate object surface, leading to unclear surface fitting. Therefore, conventional ground classification approaches that only use point cloud geometry will struggle to determine the ground level as they cannot handle smooth slopes or the top of short vegetation properly, properly like uh, short grass, for example. To improve uh, the conventional approach, TerraSolid proposes a new method that includes vegetation index computation in resolving the distance attribute. Vegetation index uh, helps here to better distinguish vegetation hits from the ground points, especially in photogrammetric point clouds when the real ground level is covered by vegetation. The implementation strategy includes following steps, computation of vegetation index distances for each point because the vegetation index values are coming from color information. Then distance of, uh, values are smoothed because we basically want to do noise reduction by averaging values inside a local neighborhood. And final step, vegetation index based distance rating in ground classification uh, routine, where vegetation points with high green values are less likely included in the resulting ground class, where the software is less likely to shift the ground classification upwards. This new processing strategy uh, within TerraScan takes into account a probability factor and improves automatic ground classification accuracy. So it is decreasing manual editing time left 
to the operator. Photogrammetric point cloud is a noisy data set. Therefore, we need data preparation steps. They include sorting points by location to improve processing efficiency, then uh, classifying and uh, deleting isolated points if they are present in the data set. Then in next step, we will classify surface points to reduce noise. Then there is a step to smooth points to reduce point to point noise, followed by thinning points to reduce the number of points to improve processing efficiency. And finally, classifying just hard surfaces to classify potential ground surface points. Now we can continue. Uh, here we have a macro. That's a place where we design our algorithm. Uh, data uh, pre preparation steps are done, so you can see them here. We are not going to uh, play and show them. It was explained in previous slides. So we can do next step. And the next step is compute distance where you choose vegetation index and visual band difference in view one. On this display, we are coloring points by vegetation index. We should search for optimal limit uh, visually. Therefore, we are looking now at this setting. In this example data set, 0, 0,2, 0, 0,1 is a good threshold between vegetation and not vegetation. We can now display in U1 and see the difference. Let's uh, view tool setup and uh, compute uh, vegetation index distances. Press OK. Now we will visualize those computed distance values by using a display mode window and by setting a color bar for those computed distances. And please pay attention uh, now to view one. So you display view one shows that yellow, green, and red are the vegetation, and cyan color and blue are not vegetation. For example, they are man-made objects or earth ground. Next step demonstrates smooth and points action. There is a new option. You can smooth distance. The software uses different values from using the neighbors. The reason for doing this, uh, the color is noisy information and vegetation index is coming from color. Here we have settings. For every point, software takes a neighbor within half meter 3D radius and averages maximum of 20 closest neighbors. After performing this step, we can look at the data details. It is not recommended to smoothen the color. In order not to lose the valuable input, it is nice to, to play with the distance because it is calculated value. 
the result of vegetation appearance shows more real pattern with much less noise. So this step is considered as a good for good step for visualization purposes. And the last step is the key step in our algorithm. New ground routine makes sure that green point is less likely to be accepted as ground. The software is less likely to mold the ground classification upwards. If we have perfectly planar surface, all the green points will go to the ground, but, but if the green points form something that rises above, then the software is less likely to accept the green points. So it acts as probability factor. In ground routine, there is a distance setting at the bottom. Use distance as rating, where it's possible to put in percentage weight between one and 100. It is easy way to understand that 100% is the biggest percentage uh, to use vegetation index value while 1% means small use of vegetation index value. Default value is 50% here, uh, but it has to be every time tested what is the right value for different data set. Recommendation is not to put something very strong, what rela uh, relies on vegetation index alone because the sample data also contains short grass. Final result will be a half green ground, you can see here, because of short grass uh, presence. Anyhow, the main idea of new implementation in the software is not to climb to the top of short vegetation. After classification is done, we are displaying just ground points, visualizing ground surface model based on ground class. And in the next step, we are going to compare results by showing ground classification for which vegetation index was not used. In uh, view one, we have uh, ground classified where vegetation index was used. And in view two, we will have shortly ground classified without using vegetation index. And then we will compare these two by calculating distances between them in order to highlight the differences. View four will be used for displaying the differences between view one and view three. So now we will remove this window in order to be able to display differences and compare the results.
by looking at the view four, we see uh, red areas in the picture over here. It shows where the distance between different ground classes is high. These are most likely low vegetation areas where the ground is not really visible for photogrammetric point um, cloud. Weighting with vegetation index allows to use wider threshold for preserving features while vegetation still remains unclassified. Let's look now between view four and view two. Let's look at the green areas. So we see here some bushes, right? And we also, if we zoom in some uh, detail, we also see some trees, yeah? And they are not classified because the idea behind this um, algorithm is not to climb on vegetation uh, like bushes or trees. They will be excluded from ground class in this case, thanks to the usage at, and settings which we use for vegetation index. So to conclude, we presented in TerraSolid software an effective classification method which overcomes ground classification limitations of conventional methods and provides a new solution for colored UAV-based photogrammetric point clouds. Thank you very much for your attention. If there are any open questions, I will be more than happy to answer them now. And also you can send questions to our support team, webinar at terrasolid.com. I will use this opportunity to invite you to attend in our demo rooms next presentation of TerraSolid, how to publish point clouds on Google Maps. It is in our digital room TerraSolid presentation theater starting at 12 o'clock after this presentation basically. Just come uh, to our info desk and you will receive link to access presentation followed by live demo where we use TerraScan and TerraPhoto tools. Welcome, everyone.